In this lesson, we are going to be solving order of operations and integers at the same time. Notice in this problem we have subtraction and division. So both subtraction and division have to be solved. And in order to know what to do first, we have to look at the order of operations or GEMS. Groupings, exponents, multiplication or division, subtraction or addition. Which do you think we should do first? Well, it looks like division comes before subtraction. So I think we should do division first. Now we have to decide what are the rules for division. So we have negative 18 divided by positive 9. So the rules for division of integers are we ignore the signs and we just divide the numbers that we have there. 18 divided by 9 equals 2. So the question is, is it positive or negative 2? Well, in this case, the signs are different, and different signs, the answer is negative. So what we have here is a negative 2. Now we have, we'll put parentheses around that to make sure that we keep it separate. Now we need to bring down the rest of the problem. Negative 9 minus negative 2. So we've rewritten our problem, and then we have to follow the rules for subtraction. Well, subtraction of integers, the rules are keep, change, change, then follow the rules for addition. So we're going to keep negative 9. We keep that. It's still negative 9. Subtraction, we change that. We change that to addition. And minus, negative 2 becomes positive 2 because we are going to add the opposite, the additive inverse rule. The opposite of subtracting negative 2 is to add positive 2. So then we follow our rules for addition. Same signs add and keep, different signs subtract, and keep the sign of the higher number. So this is different signs subtract. So it becomes 9 minus 2. And 9 minus 2 equals 7. But it's different signs subtract and keep the sign of the higher number. Well, the number with the higher absolute value is 9. So that, and the sign of, neg of negative 9 is negative. So we keep it, and it become, the answer becomes negative 7. For this one, we have negative 1 plus 9 minus 4. We again look at our order of operations. We find we have a grouping. The grouping says 9 minus 4. It's pretty straightforward. We can take 4 away from 9 without doing any keep change change. And we have one, negative 1 plus 5. Same signs add and keep, different signs subtract. So we're going to subtract 5 minus 1. Remember, we're subtracting absolute values. So we subtract 5 minus 1, because the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4. Different signs subtract and keep the sign of the higher number. Well, the number with the higher absolute value is 5. 5 is further away from 0 than 1 is. So it is positive, so our answer is positive. In our next problem, we're going to see negative 6 divided by 6, which equals negative 1, because different signs, the answer is negative. Then we rewrite the problem as negative 1 plus negative 9. Same signs add and keep, so we're going to add 1 plus 9 is 10, and we keep the sign. The signs are negative, so the answer is negative. So the answer is negative 10. In our next problem, we have negative 11 times 6 minus 8. Here we have a grouping. Groupings come first, so we subtract 6 minus 8. Now, if you have 6 of something, you can't give away 8 of it, 8 of it. So what you wind up having is a negative amount. So since you're going to have a negative answer, you better use keep, change, change. So 6 becomes 6. Subtraction becomes addition, and again we add the opposite, so the opposite of 8 is negative 8. 
So 6 plus negative 8. Now we follow the rules for addition. Same signs add and keep, different signs subtract and keep the sign of the higher number. So different signs subtract. 8 minus 6. Remember, we are subtracting absolute values. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8. 8 minus 6 equals 2. It is in, the answer is negative because it has the higher absolute value. 8 has the higher absolute value and its sign is negative because we keep the sign of the higher absolute value. So the answer is negative 2, but we're not done yet. We still have that negative 11. So we write down our negative 2 and we write negative 11 times negative 2. All right. Negative 11 times negative 2. And the rules for multiplying the same signs is we ignore the signs and multiply. 11 times 2 is 22. And the, the way we do it is that we find that the signs are the same, so the answer is positive. So the answer is positive 22.